Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Hilda Crafty. I'm your friend Hilda. Today we are going to use waste plastic bottles and wall putty to make elephant planters. I wanted to make these cute, adorable and little naughty. You get many elephant planters in the market but it brings so much joy when you make them yourself at home. Made two planters to show two friends. Wanted to bring this on friendship day but I could not complete the video as I had some issue with my wisdom tooth. It's easy to make these so let's get started with the video. I'm taking an empty pet bottle. It's a 2.25 liter bottle. I like these points at the bottom as these can become the legs for the elephant. Mark the required height for the planter and then cut it. We will be using just the lower portion for this project. Taking wall putty, uh, you can get it online or any hardware shop. We have to knead it like a dough. You can check my video for this, link in the description box and in the i button above. Take little portion of wall putty and roll with a rolling pin. Use a plastic sheet below and add talcum powder to avoid sticking. Cut the rough edges and apply little water with your fingers and place wall putty and press so that it sticks well to the bottle. Do the same procedure and cover the entire bottle with wall putty from outside. Wall putty makes your fingers very dry so moisturize them very well later. You can add little wall putty if some places are left. Use water and with the help of your fingers smoothen all the joints. Now let it dry completely. I am doing the same procedure for the other bottle as well. Make sure that there is no space left at the top. This one is a little smaller in size than the previous one. The wall putty base is absolutely dry. Now let's make the head and the trunk. Take a ball of wall putty. Place the head in between the two legs or the two points of the bottle. To stick this use wall putty paste which you can get by adding little water to the wall putty powder. Now slowly press the wall putty downwards to give the shape of a trunk. Use a brush to give a cut which a trunk has at the tip. Now let's make the ears. Place the cut piece on top of the wall putty to get the same size. Smoothen the edges with water and then paste. Make sure the second ear is in line with the previous one. Doing the same procedure for the other planter as well. For this one I wanted the trunk on the other side. Now let's make the tail. Take a small piece of wall putty and roll till it is thin enough to look like a tail. Then stick at the back between two legs. Then take a small piece of wall putty to make the tail end. Made the same for the other piece as well. Now we will let it dry completely. Now the wall putty is absolutely dry. I left it overnight and now I'm going to sand them to give a very smooth finish. I made a tusk with wall putty and let it dry. So if you wish to add tusk, uh, uh, let it dry. You take some wall putty and then add the tusk like this and then smoothen this. Like this, let it dry. In wall putty, you have to do layering. 
uh, layer by layer so that the pieces don't fall off. But I'm not going for a tusk, so I'm removing this. Using sandpaper number 150. Sand to get a smooth finish, uh, then clean with a dry brush and then with a soft cloth. So now let's color them. Using acrylic paint with a sponge dabber to get a nice finish. Use a brush wherever required. Use a small dabber wherever needed. Let the paint dry. Till then let's color the other one. The paint is dry for the first one, so let's color the remaining parts. Taking a little black acrylic to just highlight the edges, this is optional. I feel this step will make the elephants look little dirty, therefore naughty. Making the toes on the points of the bottle. Let's do the same procedure for the other one as well. Let the paint dry absolutely well before we go to the next step. The paint is absolutely dry and for this project I will go for a gloss varnish. I love this varnish as it is water based and it dries very fast. You can give two to three coats giving time for each coat to dry very well in between. The varnish is absolutely dry now and now I'm going to put googly eyes. You can uh, even paint uh, them but do it before the varnish. I feel these googly eyes will give these elephants a very cute look. I'm using silicone glue for this purpose. Given some black lines on the trunk and ears for some interest. To further add to the cute look, I am adding some flowers which I already have. Now let's add the plants to complete the look. You can even add artificial flowers or artificial plants, it's going to look just amazing. All items used for the project are mentioned in the description box below. If you wish to shop online with Itsy Bitsy, you can use my coupon code HILDA5 in caps to get an additional 5% discount. Link and coupon code mentioned in the description box below. If you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe to my channel and if you're new to my channel, do watch my other videos as well. Till then take care, see you next time, bye bye.